Mind resources are the foundation of everything around us, from houses to buildings to the cell phones we use daily. But how do we create useful materials from raw metal ores? The answer lies in chemistry, and specifically chemical engineering. Chemistry is required to extract valuable metals from ores, with a process that has been refined over centuries, metallurgy. Metallurgy includes understanding physical and chemical properties of metals, and how to apply chemistry to process these metals into useful materials. Understanding chemistry's role in mining will drive the industry even further, like how to effectively use mine products and technology to maximize efficiency and minimize environmental impact. New fields such as analytical chemistry and chemical engineering attempt to answer the many looming problems, such as chemical waste and the harmful byproducts. Here in Canada, mining accounts for one-fifth of the country's exports. In Ontario, where over 20% of the valuable metals are mined, mining is a major part of the average consumer's life. Let's take a look at one such individual and how chemistry and mining surround him every day. Let's visit the household of an average consumer. What's up NSS? Welcome to my crib. I'm just a regular Ontario citizen and today we're going to be showing you why mining is a bright idea. Come on in, come on in. The value of minerals mined in 2014 was almost 10 billion dollars. See this counter here? It's granite and it's mine. What's that? I think I'm getting a phone call. Chemistry's calling. I gotta take this. Last year in Ontario, we mined just about everything from nickel to gold to copper to calcium to calcium carbonate to salt to aluminum, th like gypsum, talc, zinc. We, we, we got it all here. So thank you, uh, Chemistry, for t allowing me to take this rock and turning it into this computer, this toaster. And we'll turn it over to another consumer. Mm -hmm. Hello, excuse me, sir. How has mining affected you? 